Okay, I need a marker. Season 1, episode 16. Mark. Hi, it's, it's, it's Pat and Steve, we're Riders in the Storm. And Patty's looking out the window over there because uh, the place that we're in is Venture Inn. Venture Inn in Sholo, Arizona. And it's really nice here. There's a lot of pine trees. And we checked in yesterday and our site was taken by somebody else. So the guy here who's really good, his name is Dan. If you end up having to go here, this is a Encore Park. It's a really nice park. We like it here. It's a little crowded. People are a little crammed in here let's say, but Dan is the camp like host here and he runs around all day long trying to help people get settled in their RVs. Right now they're backing up on Montana fifth wheel uh, into their location. So I probably should take the camera over there and film that a little bit for you, give you an idea. Uh, but I don't want to embarrass the people either. So anyway, um, what we like about this place so far and what we don't like about it, like I said, it's crammed, um, at and does not work here at all. At all. Um, we have a um, hot spot back there, and when you know if you have the hot spot like we have, uh, what is it? It's a Netgear M100 or M10 or M something. Yeah. M1. Yeah, an M and an M1, M10, M100. Netgear. Netgear. Yeah. So if I showed you, you know, if you plug, if you turn yours on and it's working right, it usually flashes blue. Well, this thing has been flashing orange orange for like three days. And usually when it's a uh, older plan, we grandfathered in. We don't pay a lot for it. I mean, we pay a lot for it, but it's, I wanted to see we don't pay a lot for it, but it's, it's never throttled back, which is really nice. And so is Verizon. Um, basically, let me tell you real quick, the, the AT&T unit, because a lot of people want to know, the AT&T unit we uh, got on, um, not Amazon, the eBay. other one. eBay. We got it from eBay from a company called Rural Fi, Rural Wi-Fi. I think he's out of Florida, I'm not sure, but it was, he basically has an old grandfather chip that he sold us and got us up and running. He was very helpful. Um, at first I couldn't get it to work, so he, I called and said, do I need to send this back? I'm not happy. And he said, he probably spent two hours with yep. me getting yep. it up and running. So yeah. very good. And that cost us $79.95, $80 a month. But also, as far as I know, if you can find a grandfathered in plan, they will work, provided you get the right guy. I don't know if this guy has more plans or not, uh, but you can look for him out uh, on uh, eBay. Mm -hmm. uh, the other one that we have, it's also Verizon and is not uh, throttled back. Uh, these, these plans that we have are never throttled back except for an extreme emergency. Then fire departments and police departments and whatever supposedly have yeah. uh, priority. But this one costs us about, 70. well, so actually it costs, it costs us about $165 a month. But the reason for that is because Patty has a phone, unlimited internet. I have a iPhone and unlimited internet, and then we have our hotspot. And our hotspot probably runs around 70 bucks a month 70. on Verizon. Now, I'll tell you how you get it. You have to call Verizon, and you have to tell them you want the uh, business um, Department, but not only that, you have to tell them that you want to um, uh, that you want to pay month to month in a, kind of an advance type thing. On a credit card, prepaid. On a credit, pre That's it. That's what I was looking for. Prepaid. So it's business, and you want to do prepaid. We do ours through Brody's um, LLC, but basically you have to tell them those two things, and then uh, it wasn't easy for us because they want they want it's Verizon. They say no, no, we got a plan for you. And then you get on that plan and throttle back. Yeah. So you'll watch like, I don't know, we watch like a movie one night and a couple other shows the next night and then watch halfway through a movie and all of a sudden it gets all grainy and weird, throttle back. back. So we took it back to them and then we found, finally jumped through all these hoops. It's a prepaid business plan. You gotta tell them that you, that's what you're using it for. It comes out of a credit card every month. We just get a notice saying you're paid again for the next month. If you got Verizon in that area, it works really good. Um, and this, this was uh, about a little over two years ago we got this plan. So I have no idea if they still make the plan or not, but it works great for us. So Yeah, we're we, certainly not going to turn it off. And yes, we're still waiting for 
Starlink. Starlink. And Starlink hasn't happened yet, so that's what we're waiting for. Now, I wanted to talk to you about our last vlog, which I call The Mess, because it was really messy. Uh, first, we were, we were supposed to meet up with a bunch of friends, we thought, and be around Williams, Arizona, another place which we call A1, which is um, near, Flagstaff. near Flagstaff, just right off the 40 freeway. There's a couple of really nice places, and then Williams, we went down there, as we said in the last vlog, checked out a couple of areas, thought we were going to meet up with our friends. That didn't happen yet. So instead of having that come out and even going into all that, uh, I did one which I, I call the mess. I didn't even have any storyboards in it about the promise. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of uh, messages about that. We apologize. We're working on it for either this uh, particular vlog, which we're talking Ventura uh, in. Venture in. Venture in. And we're going to show you around Sholo because it's just a really gorgeous little town. Um, this is Thousand Trails, but it's basically Encore. Encore. You can only be here for two weeks. And it's a um, 55 or older community. Age qualified. Age qualified. So I keep and those things. Sholo probably has more Mexican restaurants per capita than any city I've ever been in. Yeah, we were just driving around and went, because uh, we were looking for dinner. We got here kind of uh, in the afternoon, finally got settled in. And then we thought, well, let's go find some place to eat. And we drove up and down the main street, one Mexican restaurant, two, three. And then we went over on the other side where the Walmart is, three or four more. These people like their Mexican food. Yeah. yeah so. We'll give you a review on that. Well, Maybe one of time. them. We aren't going to go to Mexico. We only got two weeks. Can't go to everyone. We can't go to all of them. So we're going to rely on uh, whoever says is the best uh, Mexican yeah, restaurant. Sure Yelp reviews or something, and then go try that one. Yeah, I'll let you know. Um, what else? Oh. Oh. Oh, I got to know before you're old. Because my old procedure old. Yes, your old precedes mine. Because you does? said it first. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm now going to do a little bit of presentation and show you up here and complete cover video of uh, uh, Verde Valley. Uh, we talked to you about how you got to be up on the M section to get internet, and it seems like that's all we talked about. But it's a really pretty park, got a really beautiful sunset while we were there. We walked around it all, every night. It was a little too warm for us, so we didn't go out, but in the morning and the evening, but we went for a walk. It is a really gorgeous park. I get why a lot of people like it. Do not let the internet stop you from going there. It's a great place. Uh, it's a little warm because I think it's like 3,300 feet yeah. elevation. And we're about 6,300 here, so. Yeah, it's a big difference. We love it here, we loved it there, so that's what all this video is about, and then we catch up. I'm gonna show you a couple storyboards real quick. One you've already seen which is uh, Nurse Betty, and then we're going to go into one that uh, it's really hard, the um, storyboard system that we're trying to use, we're really struggling with, we're still trying to learn it and understand how it works, but basically, I put it right here, it's a uh, picture of supposedly a PJ, Dr. Uh, Perry Lewis Jones PJ, we call him his bottom drawer. As you know, if you follow, you go back to the first one we did about the promise, he's an alcoholic, Nurse Betty goes and gets him and brings him back to the hospital because he's a good doctor, a brilliant doctor, and he's struggling with what he's do, having to do with Sherry Melbourne and with Jessica, the little girl, who are both separated by our, our, our antagonist, and he's struggling with uh, the hospital and what happened with his mom. I really encourage you to go read the screenplay. I'll put a link down where you can get it on Amazon for three bucks. It's in, it's not, it's written Originally in um, as a screenplay, so as a screenplay, but in format uh, in um, final draft, final draft. But right now it's in a format which you can read. We used to call them. I'll put the link up here. We used to call them uh, movies for your mind because uh, stories for your mind because you had to kind of vision in your mind a little bit of what what Perry looked like, what the situation was, the paranormal stuff that you see or that you hear us talk about it, that you read about. It. You got to kind of visualize how that's going to work yourself. Anyway, I'm spending too much time on it, but this particular picture has uh, a bottom drawer of Perry has his glass and his brandy, and he's that's kind of the uh, apex in the in the in the in the, in the, the story. The point of no return. The point of no return, where he's trying to figure out whether he's just going to be drunk and give up on all this, or figure out what to do. 
and you get some help from them, some unusual players, but hey, you've got Arena Screenplay. If you can't get it on for whatever reason on Amazon or you don't want to pay, email me directly at writersinthestorm2 at gmail and I'll send you a copy of it for free. What else? Well, what I was going to say is um, hopefully this weekend we'll take a little road trip and we want to go up on the Magian um, Ridge Rim because we drove through there between uh, where we were in Verde Valley and then coming here to Venture Inn in Sholo. It's just a beautiful drive and um, there's a road that takes you out to the rim and so we're going to go do that probably this weekend. Yeah, because between here. here and going to where our friends may or may not be we may just have a week where we're just boondocking and we like to boondock. Yeah, so we're okay. going to check that out. So that's, uh, that's it. Okay, we're going to wrap up this vlog now. Just remember to tell your neighbors and your friends, but don't tell that friend or that neighbor. You know, tell the one. Like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next vlog. Next time, we'll probably do a complete and total recap of The Promise as far as we can without giving away all the goodies because we really want you to go out and read it. And then comment and tell us about it, okay? okay. See you on the next vlog. Bye.